Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the Wednesday Evening Bible Study. We're looking forward to sharing the Word of God with you this evening. As always, it is our privilege to be a vessel that the Lord can use to speak to the lives of His people. Because there's nothing more valuable in this life or in the life to come than the Word of God. It is forever settled in heaven. It is fixed. There's no changing to it. There's no movement of making it better. He spoke it, and he's able to bring it to pass. Uh, we, I'm thankful that there's no conferences in heaven that, where the angels get together and say it's now the 21st century. We need to upgrade or update the Word of God. No, as I previously stated, the Word of God is forever settled in heaven. We can depend on that. When all other things are, are, are being tossed about in our lives and in our world, we have one thing that we can always rely on that you can pick up, you can look at, you can read out loud, you can internalize, and that is the Word of God. And so tonight, I want to uh, share with you from the familiar chapter of the 23rd Psalm. Uh, this is many of us as children were taught to memorize the 23rd Psalm. Uh, I thought the title of it for years was The Lord is My Shepherd. And so uh, that's, that's where we would begin. But tonight I don't want to look at the entirety of the 23rd Psalm because I want us to begin to understand that the Word of God is so powerful that you can take a little bit, a small portion of the Word of God and defeat whatever the world or the enemy or Satan tosses your way. And so tonight I want to look at from the uh, New American Standard Bible translation just three words found in the, la the last three words of the fifth verse of the 23rd chapter of Psalm. Just the last three words. My cup overflows. The King James translation said, My cup runneth over. My cup overflows. My cup overflows. If you're looking at your life tonight and you're having financial difficulties, then you don't need to quote the whole Bible. I just want you to quote these three words from God. My cup overflows. If you're here tonight and you have a need for healing in your body, yeah, I know there are numerous uh, healing scriptures, but tonight I want you to be able to look in the mirror, look at yourself, look at what the doctors have said at, that represents your sickness or your illness and say, my cup overflows with healing. If you are lonely tonight, just say, my cup overflows with joy. If there's trouble in your family tonight, just say, my cup overflows with reconciliation. We need to know that no matter how often attacks come at us, no matter how intense they may be, you can go to the Word of God. And I know sometimes when, when, when the attacks become so strong, it's hard to remember uh, all the different promises but tonight I want to give you one that will help you get through your situation until you can get settled down in your spirit to get some additional ammo. So I want to equip you with some emergency ammunition tonight from the Word of God. And it's three words. My cup overflow. This is, this is a personal promise from God as he uses the psalmist David to write, My cup overflow. So tonight when you speak that word, it's just as personal for you as it was for David when he wrote the 23rd Psalm. My cup overflows. When I think about what has been missing in my life or what is missing in my life, I could lament all the sorrows and all the things that I don't have. And I could think about all that has been stolen from me, all that has been taken from me, all that I made mistakes and lost, or I could stop lamenting and look at the Word of God and say to myself, it doesn't matter what the world has done, didn't do, 
or we'll do in the future, my cup, my cup overflows. My cup runneth over. I have more than enough. I have more than I need. When the attacks come, I'm more than a conqueror. When I need something else, my cup runneth over. I don't have to go into a long uh, dissertation about what it means to have your cup overflow. Or I don't think I need to have a deep theological uh, discussion to tell you that what overflow means. Your cup is a container. Cup represents a container. Runneth over or overflow means that there's too much to be contained in your container. If you are experiencing sorrow, depression, you need to know that the God who supplies you with peace that surpasses all understanding says to you, your cup overflows. Don't you know he, he's aware of the burdens that you have been shackled with? Don't you know he's aware of the disappointments that you have faced? You should be aware that he's already made a way for you to escape. And all you have to do is say in the affirmative, my cup overflows. No matter what the report from the doctor, no matter what the report from the bill collector, no matter what the report is about your child or your spouse, the peace of God which surpasses all understanding causes my cup to overflow. No amount of depression, no amount of, of, of opposition will ever cause me to walk away from my faith because my cup overflows. Hmm. When I look at the goodness of the Lord, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, when I read about the goodness of the Lord, the only thing I can come away with is my cup overflows. Hmm. When you, when you really begin to realize that God that, that owns the universe, the earth is the Lord's, but he also owns the universe. Mm -hmm. They can launch satellites that, that they say discover new galaxies, they, they, they discover new planets, but when they discover it, it's already been created. That's right. And we know who the creator is. Mm. So my cup overflows because the earth is his. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness that's in it, the silver and gold belongs to him. The water, the oil, all the substances above the earth and in the earth belong to my father, who owns the cattle upon the thousand hills, who has made me a joint heir with Jesus Christ, and now I understand that my cup overflows. Oh, 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 my cup, what is my cup? Uh, somebody will say, well, uh, my cup might be smaller than your cup, so then, therefore, I can't contain as much as you can. And that's the misconception we had. These signs shall follow those who believe. The pastor cup is not bigger than your cup. The apostle cup is not bigger than your cup. Once you have been born again into the family of God, we all get the same cup. Mm -hmm. Even when we do communion, it started with a common cup. Mm -hmm. We all drink from the same common cup. Mm -hmm. If David's cup overflows, mm -hmm. my cup overflows. My cup is the same size as King David's cup. And if the king cup overflows, surely my cup will overflow. One, one, one other verse, one other verse, Psalm 16, verse 5. I want, you, I want to help you understand your, the size of your cup. So if somebody said, well, the king had a goblet and I just got a small cup, let me, let me clarify this cup for you. The Lord, Psalm 16, 5, mm -hmm. the Lord... David, who wrote the 23rd Psalm, also wrote the 16th Psalm. So he knew a little bit about this cup. Even before he got to the 23rd Psalm, he knew a little bit about this cup. When he was a little lad fighting a lion and a, and a, and a, and a giant, he knew that the Lord had supplied the cup. And, then, and he writes in the 16th Psalm, in the 5th verse, The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. 
and my cup. Hold up. You were thinking about a little vessel. You were thinking about a little coffee cup with a handle. <laughs> and David said, no. No, we're not talking about any earthen vessel. We're not talking about anything that's made by man's hand. Mm -hmm. The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. The Lord who's never lost a battle. The Lord who is the creator of all things. The Lord who is the sustainer of all things. The Lord is my cup. The almighty God. <laughs> the almighty God is my cup. And because he's such a great and awesome God who knows the end from the beginning, his goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. The Lord who called me when I was yet a sinner and sent his son to die in my place. The Lord is my cup. He knows what I need before I know. He knew, he knew what you needed before you came into the world, and he supplied everything that you ever need every day of your life. So, so get that mentality out of the way that my cup runneth over is a coffee cup. Mm. It's not even a giant mug mm. from a 7-Eleven. <laughs> the Lord is your cup. Mm. The Lord, great and mighty, the God who never changes. The God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Lord who can dry up a river or make a river in a desert. Hmm. The Lord who calls all the names by all the stars in the heavens and the galaxy by yeah. name. That's right. The Lord who knows every member, every hair on your head. The Lord who can send doves into the midst of a form of his Holy Spirit and light so that all can see. There's none like him in the heaven. There's none like him in the earth. And there's no earthen vessel that can contain this cup. Well, what do you mean by that? David said, I want to build your house. But then he realized that there's nothing on earth that can contain all of who you are. So when David says, my cup runneth over. He was talking about the blessings of the Lord overtaking him. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the Lord is so good that he causes his sun to shine on the just and the unjust. He feeds the just and the unjust with his water. The Lord who's more than enough, the all-breasted one, the almighty God, the one who has all power in his hand. My cup <laughs> runneth over. My cup runneth over with mercy. My cup runneth over with goodness. My cup runneth over with blessing. My cup runneth over. He says to David, if you needed something more, all you had to do is ask. My cup runneth over. When you lift up your hands and praise him, his mercy endureth forever. When you lift up your hands and thank him for another day of life, his mercy endureth forever. When you think about how good he's been to you when you didn't even know him mm -hmm. and how good he's been to you after you got to know him and still did wrong, mm -hmm. my cup runneth over. So, uh, this is a brief message tonight, and, 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 and it's the message that everybody should be able to remember everything that the preacher said. My cup <laughs> runneth over. My cup overflow. So when they ask you, what was Wednesday night Bible study about? You say, my cup overflow. The Lord God who's been good to me all these years has more blessing for me in the future than I've ever known in the past. Mm. He's not through with me yet. We, we say that as a common phrase as if it's, as if it's a cop out. that uh, I, I made so many mistakes, but you know, Thank God I'm not what I used to be. Thank God he's the same yesterday, today, and forever because he's always had yeah. more than enough. Yeah. There's never been a shortage in heaven of anything. Mm. There never will be. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches, not on Wall Street, but in glory. Mm -hmm. And he named Jesus Christ as the administrator. My cup overflows because today I have faith in the Most High God. I have faith in the Word of God. I internalize the Word of God and that there's more than enough for whatever I'm facing. 
Uh, you don't understand, Brother Pastor. I'm having challenges with my children. My cup overflows with peace. You don't understand. Uh, I'm having mm-hmm. challenges in my finances. The silver and gold belongs to him. My cup overflows mm-hmm. with riches. Mm-hmm. You don't understand. I, I just can't seem to get myself together. Well, my cup overflows because my God is not the author of confusion. He's the God of that does everything with indecency and in order. My cup overflows because I'm not looking at my circumstances. See, stop looking at how small your cup is. And don't imagine that somebody else's cup is bigger than your cup. We're talking about the Lord being your cup. The Lord God Almighty being your cup. The one who, if he ever came short of something, you wouldn't know it. Because he said, even if I was hungry, you wouldn't know it. So if there was ever a lack of anything, because he's our cup, he would just speak it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And there would be more of it. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm excited about this particular message because it rings in my spirit when I have shortcomings, my cup still overflows. When I have flaws, my cup still overflows. When I can't see my way, my cup overflows. When others give up on me, my cup overflows. See, when you know who is your cup, not what size is your cup, but when you know who is your cup, Mm. It doesn't matter what others say. You know what? Let me tell you this. It doesn't even matter what you think. Mm-hmm. The Lord is not going to change. Nope. He's always going to be more than enough. Mm-hmm. You could have just left and got the greatest disappointment in your life. You could have gotten the news that's the greatest disappointment in your life. But you can either go into a l- lamenting state, a pity state, a crying state, Oh, you can lift up both hands, lift up your eyes into the hills from which cometh your help, because he's still more than enough. Mm-hmm. This is a difficult situation, Lord, but you are more than enough. Yeah. In fact, you're so good. You are my cup, and my cup runneth over. I just got to keep saying, my cup runneth over. My cup overflows. Mm-hmm. Everything I've ever needed, my cup overflows. Everything that I'm going to need in the future, my cup overflows. I can keep dreaming. I can keep a vision because I'm always going to have more provision than than for the vision. Because my Lord, my God, who inspires me, is my cup. I could say, let's pray. But I just want to say something to you tonight. The Lord is your cup. The Lord is your cup. Don't let your mind tell you that my cup is small or my cup is not as big as somebody else's cup. Stop thinking about earthen vessels. Everything that we have in our lives to come is not made by hand. We're going to inherit a city that's not made by hand. We're waiting on a new heaven and a new earth that's not made by hand. How much more when you realize that the cup that David writes about is the Lord? Mm-hmm. So I just want to prophesy to you that your cup runs over with whatever you need. Whatever you thought was a shortcoming, you now have an overflow. Whatever you thought was a minus in your life is now a greater plus than you've ever imagined. Your cup overflows. Father, we thank you, praise you, bless your name for an opportunity to say to your people, Inform your people, uplift your people, encourage your people that their cup overflows.